Body language guides. Did you know that 90% of communications, especially the ones you talk about, have nothing to do with words and language? When someone talks to you, he is conveying less than 10% of the information to you with his words. How to convince someone to give a positive answer to our request when the person in front of us is tired of talking, so we change the topic. All these events can be recognized and influenced by body movement and psychology. Of course, a skill requires that a movement is not misunderstood, but in a series of cases, knowing a series of subtle points of body movement can help us to have a better effect on others and don't be influenced by them easily. We try to reduce some psychological points of body language in our communication. If you want to avoid someone's verbal influence so that they cannot easily convince you, just look at his forehead when he's talking to you, right above his eyes. If someone closes his eyes more than usual when you are talking, it means that he's tired and doesn't want to continue. If someone touches his or her chin while talking to you and keeps his fingers on his chin, it's a good time to compliment them because they trust you. In the public environment, if you put a picture of an eye, people are more likely to follow the rules because they feel that someone is watching them. You are thinking that they remember something important, but they won't. If you make fists for one to two minutes, it'll help you remember things faster. When you ask someone a question, if you nod your head at the same time as a sign of approval, the probability of receiving a positive answer increases. If you're tired of other party talking, try this move. Look at one eye, then the other, and then the forehead. Repeat this. The probability that you will not continue talking will increase. If the other people stretch their chin and their eyes move while talking, it's better not to continue because they are thinking and want to make a decision in their mind and are not listening to you that much. In a group, when one person is talking, pay attention to the other people. If someone was sitting with his or her hands on their chest, it means that they disagree with that statement and their opinion is something else. I repeat again, it takes a skill to separate these symptoms from the psychological reasons. Maybe someone is tired and sitting with his hands on his chest, or he has another reason for scratching his chin, but most of the time, for most reasons, the psychological language of the body is correct. To show someone that you're a good listener, summarize what they said. Of course, don't do it too much. It's annoying. When you sit and talk with someone at the table, if they lean towards you, it's a good indication that they are listening with interest and attention. If they lean back, it shows the opposite. As I said before, if they put their hands on their chest, they probably disagree with what you're saying. In this case, if you want to change their mind little by little and they still have their hands on their chest, try to give them something like a piece of paper. In this case, the guard will stop sitting on their chest and that person is ready to hear your words. One of the ways that makes you make eye contact better and more while the other party is talking is to try to remember the color of their eye. When you're going to move in a crowd, if you just look at the place you want to go, people will probably move out of your way. The person who sits next to you and touches their knees and shakes their legs a little want to get out of there faster. So don't continue arguing with them. If you want the meeting that you're planning or the appointment that you are making to be at a time that no one forgets it and doesn't come late, choose a specific time. For example, 5 past 17 in the afternoon. If you want to win someone's trust, try to copy their gesture or facial expressions for several seconds. See what they do, do the same. When you sit in a crowd and you see that everyone is laughing, the person who looks at the face of another while laughing usually loves the person and has established a relationship with them. Now, suppose you are somewhere for an important job interview. If you're the first or the last person on the list, you will have more impact on the interviewer. So if you're not sure that you will pass the interview, don't try to be the first or last. And if you are sure, then what's better? A method that has shown that when someone is talking about something they like, if you give them a bag or something you have, they will carry it for you without saying anything. If you think someone is watching you somewhere, yawn. The possibility that that person will also yawn is very high. To impress someone, make sure your hand is warm before you shake their hands when greeting them. When someone shifts on his toes and heels while standing, it means that he's anxious and not sure about what he's thinking. If while shaking hands with someone, the other person grabs the back of your hand or wrist with his other hand, it means he wants you to trust him. Avoid pressing your lips while talking to someone. They may think you are hitting something. Before work, think about the important things you plan to do tomorrow. When you sleep, your mind arranges them for you and probably shows you a good solution. When you're talking to someone, if you want them to believe that you are saying and be sure that you are speaking honestly, try to keep your palm fully open while shaking your head and show them your palm a few times. In the culture, it's not also polite to have your hand in the pocket when someone is talking to you. 
Be aside from the cultural discussion, when someone puts his hand in his pocket while talking, it is likely that he is trying to hide something and not give information about it. While talking, if someone holds a glass of tea or a biscuit or something near their face, try to stand a little further from them, because this situation occurs when the other party feels insecure. Playing with her is one of the events that, if misunderstood, will completely mislead you. If you're talking to a woman, if she smiles and looks at you, at the same time touches her hair and plays with it, chances are that she likes you. But if her face had a neutral expression and she was playing with her hair then, it wouldn't mean the same meaning anymore. Here, it means she's anxious and nervous. She doesn't think about you at all. Let me tell you a trick. If you ask someone to tell you something honestly, tell them to wash their hands with soap first. Washing hands gives the feeling that the person who has been washed will feel less guilty and lie immediately afterwards. If you ask someone something and that person was playing with their ear while answering, it means that they are not sure of what they're saying. If they are touching their nose, it probably means that they are completely lying or adapting their words. Another trick to escape from an argument. Try to sit facing the person who is likely to get upset with you when you talk and argue with you. Go put a chair next to them and sit there. When someone does something small for you, thank them. This thank you for a very small task makes it much more likely that they will help you next time. A person who taps the table with their finger when they hear others talking are anxious and it is better to change the topic. When someone plays with their collar while talking, it means that they are disappointed or under pressure. And in the end, I remind you again, none of these are definite rulings for a behavior. And just by watching this video, you can't analyze the others and it still needs more training. But it wouldn't be bad to get acquainted with these points. Of course, they were a very small part of the body language. If you know any other tips, share them in the comments. If these small things were useful to you, and hit the bell to get notified whenever we have new videos. Thank you for staying with me until here. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye!